Guys, the chicken is here bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we got Mr. Shishka Bobber on the horn. And uh, as you can see, we we're finally able to push through and get to rank 21 with the help uh, primarily of 100% troop damage. And we've been playing around. Now, when I when I pushed up uh, Shishka, I was basically just using bullet and all rocket choppers, and, and it was working really well. But... We've been playing a few matches here, and we've come up against rocket launchers, so we had to uh, switch some things up um, and use a different, uh, a couple different kind of attack strategies. So for where we're at right now, Shish, what do you think are, are like the main uh, like attack comps that we should be using? Well, yeah, like you mentioned, bullet and all rocket choppers is really good. Um, but if it's a little bit, you know, you see a lot of rockets, then maybe you're better off going with like a, a three-five heavy bombardier and Kavan. Because people that have invested heavily in rockets, like rocket launchers, means they're not as advanced with offense, so they'll focus more on defense. So you're better off going with a more for sure hit. And it can be hard with rocket choppers and a lot of single point defense and rockets to uh, effectively make your way through with a full clear hit. And you also lack smokes, so this can make some of the sneaky, sneakier hits more difficult to do. Yeah, so I mean, it's really base dependent uh, for the most part, but... Um... Overall, uh, we're just watching the replay here of one of my earlier attacks today when we initially made the push. Um, overall, rocket it's choppers. Base dependent. With, yeah, overall, yeah. With, uh, the rocket choppers with 100% um, true damage, like they just melt stuff. Like they just blast through the base. You can see right here, they're just, you know, they, they just move through it so quickly. And um, yeah, that was how we were initially able to uh, take it up and around. But it is tricky. I mean, like, if you miss a shock here and there, like, you got to be really tight with your shocks. You got to be, like, really planned out with your critters. Uh, you see right there, I'm kind of doing a mix that of That was nice. Yeah, shock and the splash and using the critters to um, to distract the single target. Because you can't stop everything. You know, you don't have that much GBE. Um, but if you can get up just long enough, um, it gives the rockets some time to, to plow through the base. But of course it does depend on the base. Um, some of these max rock launcher base bases that we face just now shish, like, I don't think all rockets are, are going to be able to, uh, take out those no matter how well, you know, you place your shocks. Yeah, it's not nearly as effective. So it just takes different strategy. So again, it's base dependent, like you said, Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, it's just a matter of having the right tool for the, uh, for the job. That's all it is. So there's um, so there's an all rocket attack, and that's basically how we do that. And um, there's a couple other different things that I wanted to show you guys here. Um, I think we still have the replay. Um, okay, perfect. So these bases, these bases, I I hate them. They're they're so, um, you know, they're tricky because they're they're kind of different. But once you know the best way to take them down, uh, which Shish was nice enough to uh, to share with the chicken some of these Chinese secrets. Um, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. So, Shish, do you want to break down the uh, the Chinese flare? I think we do it on this one. I yeah, you do. do. Um, yeah, yeah it's, okay. it comes right now. By flaring that defense, it's going to be a dead flare. And as soon as that defense is gone, the flare expires. And all your troops, especially your bombardiers, will stay deployed underneath the deployment zone. So it's a way to keep them lower on the deck and safer from damage. Right now, once that defense is gone, that flare is gone. They're not following the flags. They were following the flare, and that flare is gone. And look so how they just far start back firing the, the bombers sit defense. on the ramp, guys. Because normally they'd walk into the flags, and then they're getting melted by everything, right? Like they're getting machine gun, yeah. residual rocket splash, they're getting mortar splash but if they sit way back here you know they're untouchable and in my circles we call it the the china drop because it was um we saw this meta from chinese players originally and it's a very effective drop and on a, on a front loaded base like this it's, it's probably the best way to drop because it lets you fan your troops out behind enemy lines so to speak so they can really do their work i love it because it uh it, it's basically like uh, it's, it's basically like a workaround for this base because this base is just built on the fact that you know you have to put your troops down and, and they, they run up to the flags and the flags are so close to all the splash damage um, so it's a, a really nice way to, to work around that and you know uh, with all the defenses way up here um, usually usually there's there's uh, things you can do to critter them at the back it does you know uh, it, it does still take some time because um, you need a lot of GBE at the, at the front as well. Like you can't just do the uh, the shish uh, China drop and not have to shock or crit or anything. Like you still got to use some of that stuff. But um, for the most part, we ended up with a, with a pretty good time. I think on these it was like two twenty, two thirty ish, which is which is pretty okay. I think. Oh yeah, no, you opened them up like a tin can. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, and then it's pretty simple. From you know, you just kind of free clear and uh, go to the back there and. 
shock and critter and away you go so that was the all rockets that was the uh china drop and what other stuff did we use we used um we used just kind of spread out um i think this one was all rockets eh this one was yeah. all rockets yeah well this space i mean it was so like uh nothing was really clustered like we kind of had a lot of space and just the way the the defenses were it was like just an easy path to just use rockets and kind of go all the way up and around so we'll just go through it quickly at four speed here but I mean, notice the laser didn't do any damage yes yeah that's true yeah that laser did absolutely nothing and then by the time we got to the end where all the boom cans were we had so much gb saved up it was a shock critter whatever but yeah you're right that that laser did absolutely nothing um shish on this uh this multi-node um do you think uh the damage amp is the best one i know there's no real like great yeah. choice because they're all pretty weak but what do you think about this selection yeah damage amp um sniper towers and machine guns can wreak some havoc on the rocket choppers for that reason alone oh okay that's a good idea laser as you saw does next to nothing <laughs> boom surprise might be a surprise but what's it really going to hurt some frontline defense doesn't do anything to stop air attacks so right, really the yeah. money's on damage amp they're all kind of mediocre but of them damage amp one is the least mediocre yeah and i imagine most people are probably going to lean towards uh the laser beam just because it's been good in past seasons they might not notice that it says rank one and just see it's like oh well this is the only one that's flying troops so it's going to be the best yeah. but uh but yeah like you said the damage amp around sniper towers that's a pretty good idea and the machine guns too they can be quite deadly right yeah yeah because those are things that you know that, that hit the rock choppers but they don't do much damage so people tend to just kind of ignore them or i know i do anyways I, I i tend to get in bad habits of letting them just kind of sit in in sniper towers and not think about them so throwing a damage amp behind those is a great idea um then we'll get into our most recent attack here and i think this was just a just a full spread eh? yeah this is a three five letter rip yeah, so we'll put it into uh, into, into double speed here, and just ignore that. That was not needed at all. <laughs> we just threw kind of six artillerys into nothing. Um, but, I mean, it's basically just free clear and, you know, um, try to take out the mines, things that are going to slow down the heavies. But, um, yeah, but yeah I mean, the idea here is still pretty, saw... pretty viable, eh? Oh, yeah, well, because we saw so much defense. You have to know this guy doesn't have as much offense. And when you see all those rockets and all that single point defense, it's hard to um, use critters effectively because if you throw critters to distract, they get burned by the rockets, which puts a lot of pressure on your shocks. And you've only got so much GBE that it's really gonna like pressure you for it if you try a standard rocket chopper free clear style of attack. So in this case, you go with the safer option and just have faith that he doesn't have much offense either because he's so heavily invested in defense. And sure enough, it worked out. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, uh, the only thing that we that we could have cleared up there, I think, was towards the end. Uh, my flares were a little bit late when I was switching to engines. Uh, it's a good thing to keep in mind that, I mean, uh, your guys can, especially when you're using bombers, like, they're going to take down the engine room so quickly. Like, as soon as they lock on and start shooting, if you have, like, a group of them of, like, I don't know, four or more, like, as soon as they, they get that first shot off, by the time you throw the second flare, they've already gotten the second shot off. So it's important to do that uh, really quickly. That's definitely something that I uh, have struggled with is uh, flaring too late. And, you know, most of these matches, well, a lot of them come down to, like, 10 seconds-ish. So, I mean, something like that can actually go a long way. Well, every second matters, and part of that is because of your 100% troop damage now as well. They just, they really drop in bombs when they throw those. Yeah, 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 they just melt everything. All right, let's get do a live one here, Shish. Gonna try to put some of this into practice. Now, just Ooh, a quick a glance. Uh, hmm, I'm th I'm I'm kind of leaning towards what we did on the last one. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, especially with the Simo. Oh yeah, he's got the Simo. Now, what level is that? Uh, one. You can click on it. Oh, okay, it's just yeah. one. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's it's go four artillery. It. If you want to take it out. Yeah. He doesn't have uh. He doesn't have max troop damage, so I mean, technically, we should be at an advantage here. Yeah. Should be. We'll see what happens. Um. Okay, let's just build up some GB. Kind of run through it. Um. So yeah, Shishk, how you doing? How is um? How's your season uh, making? Now you've you've done some crazy tech path stuff, eh? Yeah, well, it's just a matter of waiting for my effective tech right now. Things take more keys, so both my accounts are just waiting to get certain key upgrades, and then uh, I'll try push, pushing again. That's basically it. Are you doing anything crazy? Do you got any uh, like uh, different style of videos coming out? 
Mm, well, I'm going to try to have a secret video soon, but it'll be crazy in the sense that I don't have any shocks. So, okay. Yeah. But you have smokes, though, right? I got smokes, but I don't have shocks. Hmm. Yeah, because Seekers going are going to be the back flavor of the shocks. month pretty soon, it seems like. Yeah, there's that content purpose there as well. It's just like, well, you know what? I've got two accounts. I can sacrifice one. Let's just, sac right. <laughs> Let's just go straight lining it to Seekers. Defense is, you know, to the wind. We don't need any of those. Yeah, Not that's really. always we nice. do. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. We do, because we can't even maintain 21 anymore. But, you know, we'll get the Seekers soon enough. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing that. It's going to be interesting for sure. Um, now we got all these shock mines up here. I think we're yeah. going to throw a bucket of critters back there because there's a lot of single target stuff. And I want to get rid of that shock mine. And I think we'll just clear out the front a little bit here. And then uh, we'll go in for the Hail Marys. Absolutely. And I think we got about 20 seconds from here to finish because I, I know we used a lot of scout time here. So you see right there, like I wasted a little bit of time there on the flare. So that's definitely something we got to try to clean up. And I think... We almost did again. A little bit better that time. Yep. They still had to reposition, so it's not too bad. Okay. So two minutes and one second. Not a great time by any means, but, you know, it might not be too bad. We'll see what happens here. Boom. There it is. Good the enough. two second victory. See those flares at the end. Those flares at the end. That was the difference. That was the difference. It comes down to that, man. Every little second counts, <laughs> without a doubt. Boom, sucker. Yeah. And just like we said, I mean, that guy. Um, uh, he had, what was he, a quad five, and he didn't have the max troop damage. Did he have rockets? I already forget. Yeah, I think so. We'll say he did, because it, it, it... We'll say he did. The video. Yeah, it, he it, was rockets, an, it was an epic battle. Yeah, he sacrificed the troop damage, and he was a little bit slower. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got for you today, guys. Uh, if you took away something that was informative, um, it, make sure to use the creator boost in the shop that is chicken, or the creator boost uh, shishk, S-H-I-S-K, uh, either one of those. We do appreciate it a lot. Shish, as always, thank you for coming on, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, 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 back. back.